And Walmart, meantime, is now doing some damage control after being accused of pushing disabled workers out of their jobs. Facing a fierce backlash, the retail giant now says it will try to find a way to keep those employees on board. Correspondent Joy Benedict reports now from Los Angeles. Hey, y'all. It's a greeting shoppers in Marion, North Carolina have come to expect. Jay Melton is one of many Walmart employees across the country working with a disability. He's living with cerebral palsy and uses a wheelchair. So when Walmart decided to change its greeters to hosts, requiring them to lift 25 pounds, climb ladders, and perform other physical tasks, he feared for his job. Well, I've been doing it for almost 17 years, and then all of a sudden, like... They cut it out. And other employees with disabilities in different states feared the same fate. Nathan works at Walmart in Pontiac, Illinois. I was hurt. I was devastated. I was angry. But Walmart is making it clear, although staffing is changing at stores across the country to stay competitive, the company prides itself on employing people of all abilities, and they plan to keep doing that. I think everybody has a right to be or a deserves to be employed somewhere, and so I think that you're cutting off a lot of opportunities. The company's president and CEO sent out a memo to all its store managers stating this, let me be clear, if any associate in this unique situation wants to continue working at Walmart, we should make every effort to make that happen. And when it comes to Jay Melton, that's exactly what Walmart did. He and several other former greeters with disabilities are now moving to self-checkout. As a father, you want your kids to be successful. Melton is happy to keep his job, even if he now has to find a new catchphrase. Joy Benedict, CBS News.